We all love uh, effects pedals, but what we don't love is noise. And one source of noise can be power supplies. And I'm going to show you how noisy these power supplies can be. So if you're not careful with how you route your wiring, they can introduce noise into your signal chain. But I found a way to completely get rid of power supply noise. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So what I've got here is, um, well, plugged into my amp here, end of a guitar cable. I just put it in a plastic bag so, so we we're not touching the actual terminal, so they're actually isolated. So, and I've got a few war warts here that, uh, just to tell you how noisy they are. So here's a ge generic war wart, the number one war wart here. Generic war wart, anywhere near the tip. You can hear how noisy that is. So a lot of noise coming from the wall wart and from the wires as well. Number two, uh, electroharmonic wall wart. Similar, maybe a bit less. There's still a lot of still a lot of um, noise coming through. A zoom wall wart. That's extremely noisy. So, what we might think is that, well, you know, yeah, the the wall warts are rubbish. We'll get um, we got one. We'll get one of these isolated power supplies that um, are supposed to, you know, smooth the smooth the uh, the voltages um, out, and you know, they're supposed to not be noisy, right? So. So first of all, what I did, I got this power supply that came with it and I thought, well, I'll check to see how noisy the actual power supply is. All pretty noisy. So obviously, yeah, oh, I'll plug it in here. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's come on. Well, that noisy going in, it must be smooth coming out, but it's just as noisy. So, I was thinking about this problem and uh, how to solve it and I came across these old power supplies, computer power supplies, this is a Dell power supplies and I thought well I'll check how smooth, smooth the uh, voltage is on this power supply and lo and behold it's absolutely quiet so what I'm going to do I'm going to use a computer power supply I'm going to regulate use a voltage regulator to regulate it to 12 volts and then I can power the isolated power supply with that and that should be quiet so that's the project let's see if it works so here's the layout 230 volts into the Dell power supply 19.5 volts DC out through this cable which I've got to somehow attach to this 12 volt regulator 12 volts out into the isolated power supply and 9 volts DC out into the pedal board. So I've um, butchered this cable, cut the end off so I've got these wires that I can attach to the regulator input there you go, I've just plugged it in. You've got 19.75 volts DC. So just checking the output of this 12 volt regulator and we've got 12.44 volts, which should be okay. Well, let's see if this power's on then. Yep. Now for the moment of truth, let's see if this one is noisy. No noise at all. How about that? So I've made some mounting brackets so I can mount this onto the board. So this is it. So you've got your computer power supply. Comes out about 20 volts, gets connected through this connector which I've fastened to the board. Comes in to this 12 volt regulator. So it regulates the output to 12 volts, which then goes into the 
isolated power supply which converts the 12 volts into 9 volts for your pedals. So this is the completed pedal board with silent power supply on the back and interestingly enough you can use any computer power supply you find that's quiet as long as you've got the right connector because this regulator here will regulate anything from about 9 to 40 volts into 12 volts which will supply your um, isolated power supply unit and there we have it project done